Hi, I'm Chris, and you're watching Inside Fishing TV. Well, viewers, I thought this day would never come. For the last two weeks, it's been absolutely hammering down, but the skies are blue, so that can only mean good things. Before we get fishing, I've got a surprise from my producer, Aaron. For the last week, he's been badgering me to donate to his Movember group, and I've thought, enough is enough. So, what I'm gonna do is, for every view that this video gets in the month of November 2010, I will donate a dollar. So if we can get 100 views in that month, 100 bucks for Aaron. Right, see that boat in the background? That's our ride. Here we are today with my brother Matt. What are we in for? Oh, we're in for a bit of flathead fishing this morning in the lovely Paddy's channel of Oiwoi. So what are we going to be targeting them with? Oh, I reckon we're going to flick for flathead today. Uh, well, I'm personally going to throw a few soft plastics. I've got the quarter ounce jig head with the 85 curly tail fish, bit of pumpkin seed flavour, so it should be good. That's good, I'm going to throw some vibes at them. Bit of brotherly love, let's see who wins. We have literally only been fishing for probably 10 minutes and we're about to run into something but I'm on, oh and it's a flathead, it's exactly what we wanted. We've been targeting one species for 10 minutes and we're on and look at the size of it. It's bloody sensational. Now we're just going to have to probably put this guy down because we're about to run into something. Look at that, beautiful flathead, absolutely magic. It took that soft plastic like it was me eating ice cream to be honest. That's friggin' sensational. All right, I'm just gonna quickly show you how I put my jig head to my soft plastic. It's pretty simple. I like to have the tail sticking up, but other people do have it down. You just feed the point through his nose really working it and then you aim to stick that out the top about in the middle which I've done perfectly for the camera and then you've really got to jam his head in or he's going to keep coming back so we'll just work him on before you know it there he is looking good Light here. I think pumpkin's the flavour today. Oh, we're on. Nice little flatty. Let's see if we can land it. Well, he has absolutely chopped that. As you can see, he's absolutely swallowed that blade. Let's see if I can dislodge it. That's right down in his gut. There we go. Nice little flatty, I think he'll live to see another day. He's almost off my lip grips anyway. What I'm fishing with today is what's called a blade lure or a vibe. And what they do is when you work them through the water, they go through like that. So they must annoy the hell out of the fish because they absolutely love them. This one here has got a W hook on the end of it, unlike your, your treble hooks, and uh, that just makes it a little bit more snag resistant. I was fishing with this, but I've taken it off and I've gone for one that's a little bit heavier and a different color, mix it up, see what I can do. I've gone for a heavier one so I can get to the bottom a bit quicker. I think by the head shakes we might have a flatty here. Whoa! That is a nice flatty. Tell you what, I've, I've landed this on his head. I don't even think I've hooked this thing in its mouth. We'll get the net and we'll see what we're dealing with here. Oh, the looks of it. 
about the hook, which is good. This is what fishing's all about. We changed locations, we moved up a bit to the mud flats and it's paid off straight away. Tell you what, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else at the moment. There you go folks, drifting for flatty with soft plastics and vibes. I hope you've had as much fun as we have. Hot tip before I go, if your lure's not working, don't be scared to change it up. I'm Chris, and you're watching Inside Fishing TV.